Hey guys, welcome back to the Dabby Cabin. We're gonna be talking about stereotypes today and how it's our duty to change these stereotypes about people who use cannabis. We got some fat so rosin loaded up. One sec. Listen, this is no shots fired. There is no rudeness in what I'm about to say. Don't take this personally. All right. A couple of stoner stereotypes that I really want us to change, and it is our duty in this community to change that perception, is the classic couch potato, unproductive piece of shit that only smokes weed. The majority of cannabis users are not like that. They're hardworking people every day, right? Cannabis, you should be allowed to use it however you want. You want to take multiple dabs a day? Fine. That's cool, right? I'm not here to judge you. But what I am judging is when I see is like so, there's so, and don't take this the wrong way, gang, but there's so many overweight stoners out there. And like, I see how they eat and I see how they smoke. And I, I don't care what you say, the two are correlated because you're gonna get fucking hungry from smoking good hash and flour. You just are. And the sad reality is more majority of my freaking stoner friends are overweight. And now this is not coming from a place of experience. I mean, this is coming from a place of experience. I was like 250 almost here. And then I'm 190 here. Currently I'm sitting at like 198. So, uh, yeah, I understand, like, the struggles of weight. And this is one thing that we need to instantly, like, try to work on. If you're, if you're not treating your body as healthy as you should, guys, we smoke a lot of cannabis, right? Especially if you're watching this, you probably do consume it. We only get one set of lungs. So if we're not trying to offset our consumption with healthy habits, I'm not saying it's going to kill you. I'm not necessarily, and it's not as bad as cigarettes, but anything other than air going into your lungs, it's just not good. And that is the truth. That is the, that is the fucking truth. So for example, I, I lift now and I make sure I get my cardio in, right? I do focus on cardio so I can smoke more. That's the truth. Just trying to make sure everything's like everything. And I'm not wheezy all the time. And I take fat bong rips. Fat bong rip, fat dabs, like all of us do this. And not a lot of us are detoxing ourselves. So for example, you're at home, right? You just got off work. I, I just like got done working out. You just got out of the shower. I hit a glob off. So you all just seen it, right? Now I could potentially be having the munchies here soon, right? Especially if I keep consuming. And you're going to see that bag of Doritos. You're going to see that fucking super high calorie soda and shit. And that's what you're going to grab. Well, at least that's what I grabbed. Or cookies. Or just some bullshit that we shouldn't be consuming. We're going to go for. And see, I haven't really stopped this. What I have done is switched it for healthy alternatives. So I'll do Quest Chips usually instead of Doritos. Like, I won't eat that cookie no more. I'll, like, find some, like good high protein dessert that I can do or like a shake or just something like that. I substituted it for stuff that was healthier and lower calories and I started losing weight and I started going to the gym because I kind of wanted to look nicer and the more people see that like oh that business person probably is like smoking hella hash at home or like the most unexpected people like I I want those to be the people that are normalized and I want us to like be putting a positive message out into the space so if you're preaching being healthy and smoking hash you're preaching being productive while smoking hash like more people are going to see that and want to replicate that and that is a good thing that is completely a positive thing like we all this should like really be a priority of every stoner and, and individually like person by person and like you should like if you know your friends are not doing as good as they should be whether it's taking care of themselves, their families, uh, freaking blowing all their money on weed. If you blow all your money on this shit, you do not need to be smoking it right now. If it is hard to pay the bills because you want to get faded, I don't, I don't know if in that point in your life, you should be smoking as much, especially if you don't have self-control. Like if you can't make a gram 
last or a couple grams last of hash for a couple weeks now and i'm not talking about influencers they have a whole bunch of hash or people that actually have good money and can take care of themselves i'm talking about like the stoners that want to smoke the best shit but don't have the money but they still go and spend all their money on the best shit smoke it all up now they have no weed for the rest of the week their bills are not paid they barely have any groceries like I see this happen to a lot of people and you guys cannot let this plant consume your whole life like you need to use it as a tool to better yourself not as a self-destructive thing because it doesn't need to be that way and you can still smoke every day i still smoke every day what i like to do this is what i like to do right okay so i switch my smoking habits from right when i wake up all day to usually the first smoke of the day is after five usually sometimes i'd be getting like up in the morning and wanting to smoke a little bit before i go to work or no smoke when i get to work i don't actually smoke and drive anymore either that's another thing we'll get to in a second but most of the time it's after five and i'm not gonna say like i only hit one dab or two dabs like i could smoke multiple times after five most of my really really important shit is done after five i am at work usually but like one dab after i eat my dinner is not gonna have me so faded that i'm not gonna want to do my job and everyone you know what your limit is you you do you know what your limit is and if you cannot work faded don't work faded if you were working with heavy machinery just don't do it high i really don't think you need to do it high like i think you can wait till you get off of work i really do even if it's a 12 hour shift like we have to have more responsible habits and it'll make people act differently. I'm not saying that like certain people can't smoke and drive. This is the one thing I'll get to real quick about the driving. This is all I'll say about it. That is a really weird topic for me because what gets me super faded might barely phase somebody else. My true beliefs is we shouldn't do it. Have I done it? Uh, um, yeah, I have like uh, uh, multiple times when I was like from like maybe 18 up until I was like 23. I was like always driving faded and never gave a fuck but now i definitely like don't see the reason in doing that i can pack this in my bag in my gym bag get to my destination smack a fat dab go into like it, it's just and then by the time i'm done working i've worked off my high i'm sober i know i'm good to drive like so the smoking and driving thing is a really weird one for me certain people like i it's like almost equated to like having a beer at a restaurant. That person's not going to be so fucking inebriated they can't drive their vehicle home. Like, so someone taking one bong rip or one dab, like, or smoking a joint, they might, they literally might, like, be the same effects as if they could just drink a beer. And it's not the same intoxication. It really isn't. Like, I just think that as a community, we should do better about smoking once we get to the destination because you can always pack this in your bag and bring it wherever you want to go so no smoking or driving no eating like shit and no wasting your money guys like you we all need to set a good example for all the people who are going to start consuming cannabis and then like we let's just be realistic like it's going to be teenagers that start smoking weed so maybe if like they can learn oh maybe i shouldn't fuck around like how i did in high school start smoking weed only one to fuck girls and get high that's what my like that was my directive i was like i wanted to fuck girls get high fuck off with my friends have a good time that's all that's like every teenager though like you don't want to do that because like i start slacking off at school so we need to set better examples for everybody for the future stoners and the current ones now i think it's all our duty as a community to make ourselves look better but let me know what you guys think if you guys agree with anything I said, feel free to leave in the comments. I'm not going to get butt hurt, and I will reply to you. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Please, guys, please share the videos around. It really, really will help me in the algorithm. I have been trying to do videos where YouTube won't be busting my balls as much, and the past four videos haven't been age-restricted, but the past four videos' views are down. So, it's like when I get age-restricted, I get higher viewership. But I want, the, I want this to be seen by a more wide audience. So if you guys fuck with me, please like, share, comment. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. But until next time, gang, it's your boy Josh with the Dabbing Cabin. Peace.